Welcome to our review on the Big Bang. So the theory of the Big Bang then is that the universe actually began from a very small, very dense and very hot initial point and then this burst outwards in this giant explosion and as a result of that giant explosion all matter and space was created. So it's also thought that this is the moment that time actually began. So it's kind of one of these things that's kind of hard to get your head around but at some point in the distant past then we had this very small very dense very hot point that exploded out and as a result of that explosion we've got everything we know of today. Now the Big Bang isn't just some nice story we actually do have two key pieces of evidence for it. So what we've actually found then is by observing light from these distant galaxies then we found out that those galaxies are moving away from us and the galaxies that are furthest away are moving the fastest. So this actually suggests to us that the universe is expanding outwards. When we actually look at this light from these distant galaxies we can see that that light has actually been stretched. Now the reason behind this is that as the galaxies move away from us the wavelength of the light that they're actually sending to us is increasing and this is something called redshift. So the reason it's called redshift is because red light has the longest wavelength of any colour so as we increase the wavelength what we're actually doing is shifting the light towards the red end of the spectrum. So what we find is when we study all these galaxies most galaxies are red shifting and those that are furthest away from us show the greatest red shift and this tells us that they're moving faster. The second piece of evidence that we've got for the Big Bang is this thing called CMBR or Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation and this is something that is present everywhere in the universe. No matter where you point your actual recording device you will find CMBR. So what we actually have then is that as the small hot universe expanded then it started to cool and as a result of this the radiation was stretched out. So today what we find is because obviously this is a long time in the past the Big Bang actually happened then as the radiation has been stretched out over all of this time as it's cooled down we now have radiation in the microwave region of the electromagnetic spectrum and this is something that literally fills the universe no matter where you look it's the same everywhere so we've got this cosmic microwave background radiation everywhere in the universe. What scientists have actually been doing then is they've been gathering all of this data on all these galaxies and by analysing those distant galaxies scientists are actually able to calculate how fast those galaxies are moving and the distance that they have therefore travelled since the beginning of the universe. So what this allows them to do is to calculate the actual age of the universe. Now this isn't something that's necessarily an easy thing to do. One of the key reasons is that the data is constantly changing. So because the universe is constantly expanding then obviously every time you take measurements then things are in different places. So this is not a simple process but they currently believe the universe to be about 13.7 billion years old.